Destiny Nationals Top 8. I'm Marcus, Zach. How are you guys? Uh, we have uh, no Chris today, but you're, you will suffice, I guess. Yeah, uh, we'll I'm to. one of the floor judges here at this event. Uh, I'm standing in for Chris as nah, commentator number two. Fine. Nah. <laughs> All right, so we're going to jump straight into the game. Um, we have, I believe players have... Uh, players have obviously drawn hands... Uh, roles, the battlefield is being chosen. Not sure who chose it, but uh, it was not Damien's. So the matchup is Kylo Phasma versus Kylo FN 2199. Right. So we saw uh, we saw Damien with this deck yesterday, absolutely crushing people. Uh, turn one, turn two, something died. Uh, what are your thoughts? Uh, yeah, thoughts are that. Both of these decks are extremely fast aggro decks and, you know, we've got 90 minutes for this round, but I would be surprised if we go past half an hour, honestly. Yep. Yep. Um, these decks are really similar. I guess Lindsay is, more, is playing more of a more of a mid-range deck and that he has to hit, like, critical massive upgrades yep. Um, yep. to get those FN chains going. Yep. Um, Damo is running a bit more of a streamlined deck, just doing yes. damage with yep. events and rolling in yep. and she's using the base of his dice. Very good um, start there from Lindsay is exactly what you want. I think uh, every time we saw one of these FN decks uh, struggle, um, it was because they didn't get a turn one upgrade or they yep. didn't get a, an ability. They didn't get that upgrade train yeah, going absolutely. on. You FN. just have to get it started as yeah. soon as possible. So the two costs there, um, very good. Yeah. Looks so like Marcus, Demo. obviously you watched this. Sorry to interrupt you. Oh, right? yeah, you right. watched this uh, match up a lot more than I did yesterday. Yes. Um, <laughs> who do you go for first? Because Kylo's a consistent source of damage, uh, but there's also the spikiness from FN, right? Kylo's less consistent yep. um, than the... Well, uh, Kylo's based on, on, on simply calling the cards, right? Yep. Now, in this matchup, the, the unfortunate thing for Damien is his deck is mostly blue. Yeah. Um, there's not a huge number of red cards. There's some grey, there's some red, but it's mostly blue. Now, I, I expect to see Lindsay uh, calling, uh, calling blue on, on every activation. However, I think you need to kill... FN first. Okay. Uh, as FN, the the balance ambition thing is is gonna get you. Oh, okay. Uh, Damo, oh, Dad, Damo did call red that time, so I'm guessing he called blue the first time. Saw a logistics. Saw the red, then yeah, went for it. And then that time went red instead. That's right. Interesting thing to note for this event, uh, as it is a top eight, the deck lists are made public. Yes. So these players both know the ratio. They do. Of colors in each other's decks. Yep. So we're gonna see FN. Oh, sorry. Excuse me. Kylo's hit. A lot more this weekend. Yes. Uh, well, more information. I mean, the chances are still... I mean, you could definitely... Uh, so, th so there's the list. There's Lindsay's list. You could definitely um, have an educated guess, yep. generally speaking, based on what they've played that yep. turn, what the situation of the game is, and also just knowing decks. Yep. Uh, yeah, of course, it is always chance. But, yep. um, this, you know, the in best this, odds are always good odds. Yes. Uh, in this case, though, uh, I think Damo got both lucky and unlucky in that same turn in that he named blue the first time knowing that Lindsay's deck is mostly blue and yep. missed, but then named red and actually hit the, the, the lesser. That's right. Like that's representing the information red. you've seen yep. and just sort of going with it. Yep. Um, so it, it's, you know, it could be argued just to stick to blue every yep. time because it might be the best, yes. but you know. Now it, what is interesting with these spiky kind of, particularly Kylo Phasma, it, it can be quite a spiky deck. Um, it is consistent, but the damage can spike up yep. and down. Sure. Uh, this is the best of three. Yeah. So doing it once isn't going to be enough. That's right. Uh, this is very much a damage race. This is very much who can present the most damage the fastest. Uh, Lindsay has a... Fair bit of damage showing there already on the on FN. It looks like he's showing four damage just on FN's dice alone. Yeah, yeah, it looks like Unless it. Unless they're both ones, but that, I'm not quite sure. Um, so we did get a chance uh, before uh, before we sat down to play today to discuss uh, discuss the players, what they're you know, just basically just yeah. get, get a bit of info about the players. That's right. I was just on the floor before having a chat with Lindsay. Yep. Um, Lindsay was actually the 
national champion of the Star Wars TCG oh, by old, Wizards of old, the Coast. Old school. So Lindsay is looking to back to back get a win in a different Star Wars Nationals. Yep. <laughs> yep. Of course. Um, Lindsay is actually the owner of a game store in Sydney, Gamescube Parramatta. Yes. Uh, where they're supporting Destiny a lot, which is really cool to see. Yeah, it's, it's amazing. Um, for a new game, Destiny's been doing super well in Australia, so yep. it's great to see all our other states coming together at this uh, Nationals event. Yep. It's uh, truly patriotic, I feel. Yep. Yeah, no, definitely. Um, uh, yeah, Lindsay, Lindsay Long, big, uh, big name in the Magic community. Yeah, that's right. He mentioned to me before he's been judging for uh, almost twenty years. Yes, uh, running yeah. a lot of major events in Oz. So it's uh, good to see like the biggest events, the biggest in events Oz. in Oz. Yeah. So, right. so it's good to see some big names. <laughs> yeah, no, he's um, he, he's well known in the Magic community. Right. Uh, now he's a LGS owner yes. and a member of the community, which there is awesome. And uh, apparently, a very good Destiny player. Yeah, well, yeah, um, definitely made top eight coming into this event. He has been playtesting uh, against sort of what we've seen all this weekend, uh, stuff like Thronka and all the Kylo FN variations. Yep. Uh, he said his favorite deck was Thronka, but felt that against a field of hard aggro, yes. like Kylo, it's a hard deck to play. Yeah, definitely. Um, and we definitely saw that. We, we, yeah. That was definitely yep. shown yesterday. I think that's a that. very, very wise decision from Lindsay Demons. Yeah. As we saw what happened to most of the Thronka yeah. <laughs> yesterday. <laughs> but uh, that is the reason he's, he's sitting on this deck here, the Kylo FN. Yep. Um, he, I did ask him the question, uh, how does he feel about seeing the uh, copy of Thronka in the top eight, uh, yep. played by Brayden? Yes. Uh, he said it was very exciting and he'd like to see himself and Brayden play off in the finals. Yep. Uh, so we'll see how uh, those big words carry him. Yeah, definitely. Um, taking a look at Damo on the left there as well. Uh, Damien is a local to yes. uh, General Games in Victoria. Um, he plays for Team Shed, a team of boys who play um, out in Frankston Way. Um, they have been testing Destiny very, very heavily for the last few months, uh, since it came out, yep. honestly. Uh, and going into this tournament, they were very, very big on a list featuring Sabine and Ezra. Yes. Um, Sabine utilizing her action cheating in a sense to play an ambush weapon, roll in, resolve her dice before your opponent can do anything about it. Also featuring cards like Infamous and Running Interference yep. to create some lockout situations. Yeah, definitely for able to trigger both the uh, both the Running yeah. Interferences. You, and the you same. played against that deck a lot, Marcus. What I did. Do you think of it? I did. It was strong. Um, it was very strong, and it could definitely get to a situation where you couldn't win, but it didn't do so well. Being basically mono yellow, yeah, uh, didn't do so great against any Kyler list, in particular this Kyler list. Actually, the reason, one of the main reasons why I can I can honestly say why Dan Mero is playing this in particular list is because he played that list against me. Yeah. And I killed Sabine turn one. Yeah. <laughs> I, did, I did 13 damage to Sabine turn That's one. That's right. Damo did <laughs> ask me to mention something on stream in that uh, this list he, he did actually develop with Marcus. Yes. However, oh, we'll he, call he, it that. He, he wants to say that uh, he, he improved it yes. significantly. He changed two cards. <laughs> two whole cards. <laughs> no. Damo, look, I can't take any credit. Damo is the one playing the deck and doing very well with the deck. Um, yeah, look, uh, it's great to see... Something that's not... I mean, it's Kylo, but yep. it's not Kylo FN. Well, that's an interesting thing that you mentioned that um, Damo said a similar thing to Lindsay and that his preferred deck was Spin as we're coming into it. Yep. Lindsay's with, was the wrong car. Yep. And they both were not able to play those decks because Kylo existed. Uh, Sabine Ezra is terrible against... It's, sorry, it's a monocolor deck, just yellow, which is terrible against the field of Kylo. Yeah, of course. Um, and, you know, a control deck like Thronka is terrible against the field of hard aggro. Yep. Um, so they both made a last-minute switch to Kylo, uh, choosing different variations of it, obviously. Yep. But, um, yeah, it is an interesting thing to note yeah. about this meta. Uh, so we've seen a little bit of... Little, quite a few things have happened here. Um, Lindsay actually had an a Ancient Saber in play and decided to... Um, Instead, before active, before activating or anything like that, use the heal ability on that. Um, there's a bit of back and forth. The Vibro Knife in play is going to make the um, Force Illusion not so great. Now, mm. we did see Damien use a Doubt, but he doubted one of FN's dice and not the not the Vibro Knife, which I oh. think might have been a mistake. Okay. Um, if he doubted the Vibro Knife, it would have forced the Vibro Knife alone to be resolved, which would have yeah. taken away the unblockableness yeah. of the rest of the damage. Um, it did remove damage. It did prevent damage and remove damage. But either way, uh, so Lindsay here actually throwing away what, what I believe to be his second Vibro Knife, even though there is a Force Illusion in play, but does get rewarded by hitting the special on the lightsaber. Yeah. I do think that Vibro came back from Starship Graveyard. Oh, um, yes, it would have, of course. Yeah. 
Oh, yes, I missed that. No, it's the same Vibra Knife, of yeah. course. Interesting to see Lindsay's playing uh, Starship Graveyard. It's a cool one, isn't it? Yep. So, in that case, what we can see is the reason he did that is because Damo obviously presented lethal damage. Yep. Uh, Lindsay had no way to deal with that. So, he simply got the activation off of the lightsaber and was rewarded for the, for the heads up play. Yep. Got the two damage he wanted. And uh, got the redeploy. Got the redeploy. So, now what we're seeing here, what's interesting now. So, Damien has done what I believe to be the correct thing. He's gone after FN and has killed FN. Lindsay is doing also what I believe to be the correct thing and killing, in this matchup, killing Phasma. Why do you reckon it's better to go for that? Uh, so, it, what it's going to bring it down to, it's going to be a race between the, Phas between the Kylos. And okay. I think that Lindsay, knowing the lists, feels he's going to be able... Oh, he's going to say, we're going to kill Phasma here with the best... Oh, no. Of course not. So the three damage blocked by oh, the... Oh, wow. that's massive. There you go. That's awesome. <laughs> oh, that's, that's really good play there. Un unfortunately, milling his other best defense, an isolation and a doubt. Ugh. Oh, that's, look, it's, it's fine. It's fine. It's totally fine. Yeah, so the cross guard lightsaber does, does the thing. Um, so... Basically, look, so yeah, so what, so what I was saying was... It's going to come down to a race between the two Kylos. Yeah. And I think Lindsay's Kylo has statistically much more chance, or not much more, but statistically high chance of hitting regularly yep. uh, than Damien's does. And on top of that, uh, Lindsay has wet, has upgrades that he yep. can play, whereas he knows that Damien is not going to be able to play an up. Well, yep. At best, he's going to be able to play a four-speed or an ancient lightsaber uh, mm, on Kylo. Sure. Um, he was also, I guess, trying to play around the two best defenses, which he which are now out of play anyway, as they both, one was used and the other one disappeared. Is that a Starship Graveyard upgrade or is it equipment? Uh, I believe it's equipment. Okay, sure. Uh, it, no, uh, no, no, it's, no, it's, it's any upgrade. It's yeah, any upgrade. You know, it yeah, chance, no, yeah. Of course, it used to, yep. Cool. It was a major player yeah. in the... Uh, Just uh, Damo choosing to not take back the full solution there. Um, maybe missing that he could? Possibly. Uh, or he has another one in hand. Yeah. Wants to see another five, fresh five cards. Now we did see Lindsay draw a boundless ambition. Now that's that's the that's the pain card when you're playing mm. against. So that's why Damo has to take out FN yep. first. Yeah. So Damo naming red there, hitting the blue instead. I think Damo needs to start. It's weird. Assuming I'm assuming Damo did get a look at the deck lists. Yeah. So I think you're still correct. Even though you might have been successful once or twice hitting the the off color, I think you do need to just play the odds. Yep. So, Lindsay's going to name blue, hits the blue. Um, this is a close game. This is a very close game. Yeah, it is. Uh, so, it does look like Damo named blue just before hit and did one damage with the hate as well. That's where that three has come from. Oh, was that damage? I thought the damage was already on. I think Kylo was fresh on Lindsay's side. Oh, okay. Uh, I'm not sure. I could be totally wrong. Yeah, I, I might have missed it myself. Yeah, so this is just a slugfest back and forth yeah. here. We're seeing lightsaber throws. We're seeing... A th oh, look at Damo's hand. It's a lightsaber throw and... Sorry, excuse me. Two lightsaber throws and a four strike. Yep. <laughs> yep. So I'd be interested to see if Damo, <clears throat> excuse me, decides to slow roll this and then he four can, strike. He, he has to be careful to slow roll too much because the 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 roll in from Kylo hitting and showing damage that he can't deal with is going to be enough to just end him. So I think what's going to happen here is going to use the lightsaber throw this turn. Yep. He's then going to resolve the damage this turn, roll in next turn, and hope to have enough time to four strike next yep. turn. Sure. And, all, uh, and in between all that, he's also going to hope to have, to hit um, his Kylo's ability. Yeah. Yep. Um, now, what is interesting here to note is that uh, the the hate is a May trigger. Okay. It is not mandatory, so I do do believe, and it's also you do get to see your damage first. So this is relevant in that Damo can see what amount of damage he's displaying on his dice before deciding whether or not to take one damage to yep. deal one damage, uh, which means if he's is able to present enough damage. To make it worth him, so basically, if he rolls in and shows enough damage, he doesn't necessarily need to use the hate or vice versa. Okay, sure thing. Um, it gives him the choice. He he does have choice here. But man, there's some damage going back and forth here. Um, Lindsay's going to claim mm. uh, probably pick up a vibro knife. It's got a staff in there too as an option. It yeah, looks like the knife picks up the vibro. Does have a resource left over, which means he'll be able to play that Vibro. Don't find the two there. Finds yep. the two, evens it up. So both Kylos on nine hit points at the moment. So nine damage, excuse yeah, me. Yeah. So now the the risk here is if Damo is to use hate at any point, yep. it puts him on two, and two is the magic number here. Yep. Does uh, Lindsay's list play four strikes as well, or is that just uh, a, I don't, a Damian thing? I don't believe it plays yep. four strike. Here we go. Yeah, we've, we've got uh, yeah just the throws. Yeah, no just strikes. the throws. Yep. yep. Yeah, the four strike does only do blue dice. Yep. 
Now, what's interesting here for Lindsay is he has the resource spare to play the Vibro Knife and have one left up. So he's able to play Vibro mm. Knife with Ambush, yep. roll in, and still have one left. Yep. Um, if he basically, I think his play, Lindsay's play here is ideally going to give Damien one action. Yes. Uh, in that, oh, two action. Well, yeah, the ability. So basically, th yeah. So there's the Vibro Knife. Yeah. He's able to roll in if he shows any damage. So okay, so he's going to activate. Yeah. Hope to hit. Yeah. Kyle's ability, putting Damien on one. If he shows any damage, Damien has one action to win the game. All right, so there's two melee sides, so... Uh, Damo hopes he misses, which he doesn't. Mm. Yeah, that puts him to one. Yep. Uh, so I don't think Damo has an out here because of the Vibro Knife. Um, also because of the lightsaber yeah, the throw. the lightsaber throw is going to be on. Well, the, no lightsaber throw, the lightsaber throw is on. Yeah, there's Because not... Damien's lost his way to remove two dice. Oh. In, uh, um, that is uh, not that's spot a red. thing that he can do. That is spot a red. Yeah. So that's not going to work for him. Unfortunately, I think we just, <laughs> we just heard yeah. the exclamation yeah. come, come from the table. <laughs> uh, so I think, yeah, look, Damo needed... So in a perfect world there, Damo would have had a force illusion and Lindsay would not have rolled melee. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but, yeah. wow, that was... Um, I think, I think this is the end of game one for us. I don't believe there's an out that Damien has. Uh, no, he's just counting up to see if there's anything he can do here. I didn't catch a good look at his... Um... Yeah, all good. No worries. So we're just going to jump to game two here. There's uh, some discussion going on on that table. So we'll see what's going on here. So we have... This is the Thronka versus Cad Phasma. Now, this is a deck we didn't see at all yesterday, um, but, but worked its way up. Yeah, so Cad Phasma is an awesome deck. It's been really popular in the States lately. Um, it's similar to this, excuse me, the Sabine deck we spoke about earlier in that it can play ambush weapons yep. to resolve dice immediately after rolling them in. Yep. Um, its key strat is to play a bunch of snipers and pistols uh, and just set up a huge field that can't be interacted with. Sure. However, uh, one card that really shuts down the deck is Imperial Inspection. Oh, yeah. Just and it looks like Braden does have that up and he's controlling that game very well. Sure. Jumping back into our main feature, uh, we are looking at... All right, so we're just going to get uh, the table here is going to explain to us what just happened in that situation. Ah, okay. Okay, so the question was, uh, Damien had the ability to do... We actually missed this. So Damien actually had the ability to deal three damage because of the hate. So theoretically, if he was to roll in... Uh, activate Kylo, hit hit the two damage. That would have put Lindsay to one health also, which then meant he could deal hate damage to both characters and kill them both <laughs> simultaneously. Right, which okay. would, I, I would, by our understanding of the rules, actually be a draw. But we never had to cross that bridge as both as to the two things are exclusive events, right? Uh, or as in, are independent events. Uh, basically, Damo rolled in. Didn't hit the two, which meant it didn't matter. Okay, sure. So, yeah, so our understanding of the rules would be then if that was to happen, it would in fact be a draw because both characters would be defeated simultaneously. Uh, and then it would be the best, the, the, the uh, first of two. First of two wins. Okay, sure thing. So it wouldn't be no longer be a best of three. It would, it's the first person to It would get be the first wins. person to get two wins. So it would be a best of four. If it was yeah. to draw again, it would be the best of five and so on. <laughs> wow. But the situation did not... Uh, so the, yeah, of course, the first two wins rather than the best of five, but... Yeah. Um, so potentially another three games. Yeah, potentially another That's three. Like drawing. Yeah. Um, uh, so taking a look at this game between Braden and Will, looks like Braden just resolved a buyout. I did not catch uh, how big it was. Yeah. Uh, but it looks like Will's deck is now missing. empty. He's missing. He's missing. <laughs> MIA. Hate paging Will's deck. <laughs> um, and... So that was for 11. 11, wow. Uh, and Will is sitting on, looks like four cards in hand, uh, with still a live Anker and a live Thrawn with Vibro Knucklers yeah. online. Um, now, this look, is. Look, I'm not going to sugarcoat it. This looks like it's Brayden's game. Yeah, look, uh, Brayden, I like Brayden's list a little bit more, I think, than most of the other yeah. Thrawn cards we've seen. He plays ways to win the game 
after Ankar dies. Yes. Um, he plays more varied. He doesn't play Ace in the Hole. Yeah. He so plays he... one Crime Lord. Yep. He's playing... Uh, he, he's intending to play the long game. Yep. Uh, he, and I, I like this because the, the, the thing we saw consistently yesterday is uh, when... when um, the slug man, uh, when Ankar died, in every match we saw, the game ended. It didn't yep. end immediately, but it ended. The game stopped. It stopped being a match for the Thrawn. Thrawn on his own was just a, a character. Yeah, sure thing. And it, it was going through the. They were going through the motions, and they played maybe another three, four, five turns. But at no point did it ever look like the Thrawn. Thrawn on his own had a chance to even end the game, let alone survive. Yeah. So, in 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 Braden's deck, Ankar isn't. The win con, Ankar is just a character. Yep. There's lots of other ways to win the game. That's correct. Uh, Vibro Knuckles is a consistent one. Yeah. Um, and, and we saw this we saw this yesterday in the in the in the uh, round of eight. Oh, sorry, not the round of eight, the eighth round yesterday. Yep. Uh, Damien playing against Brayden. Brayden lost Ankar like turn two. Yeah. And then in every other iteration of uh, the, the Thrawn card deck we've seen, that would have been the game over. Yeah. It would have been just a matter of Damien finishing off Thrawn inevitably. But in Brayden's deck, because of the Vibro Knucklers, because of the fact that he could put pressure on, uh, he won. Yeah. So, yeah, so Brayden plays, yeah, the Vibro Knucklers and the Imperial uh, Interrogation Droids, excuse me. Um, just as, you know, yep. mini Ankars to keep around after yep. Ankar dies, I guess. Yep. Um, having a quick chat about these players as well, I spoke to them both on the floor. Uh, both absolutely lovely guys. Um, you were saying, you know, that Brayden's list apart from his characters, just has ways to win. Yes. Uh, is something he mentioned. He was looking for a really challenging list to take into this tournament. Sure. Something that he could practice a lot uh, leading up to it and just have a good matchup against the field. That's not normally what you hear at a big tournament. I wanted to play the hardest deck I, I know, could find. I know, right? <laughs> um, but obviously, it's been rewarding for him. Um, he wanted something that wasn't autopilot and yep. that had a lot of play to it so that yeah, he could enough. just sort of like learn to play the field. And that's... Well, you know, we've said, yeah, we've said it all along. The Thronka deck, very rewarding of sk yeah. player skill and game knowledge. That's it. It's just like the... Uh, Strategic, uh, the master himself, Thrawn. Well, yeah, exactly. Yeah, no, no, definitely, one hundred percent. There, yeah. you are the master of your own destiny with this deck. Uh, so, Will, Will gets gets his own, gets a little bit back there. Manages to <laughs> manages to take out uh, Ankar just before he ends the turn and loses due yeah. to no cards. Um, but yeah, so the the Thrawn card deck is a deck that definitely rewards player skill, yep. um, player knowledge. Being able to remember what you saw in your opponent's hand, knowing what numbers yep. to name when, knowing what exact... If you know if the exact card that you need to play around every turn and you name that card, you name that number, mm -hmm. also, not only do you need to know the card, you need to know the cost of the card. So yep. it, it is a very rewarding deck to play. Absolutely. Um, um, and, yeah, as we were speaking earlier about Ace in the whole Crime Lord is not yep. usually often... Um, it seems like Brayden just thinks that might be a little bit too, yeah. too cheesy, too gimmicky. So yep. he's sort of gone for the long, consistent... Yep. Um, you know, grindy, yep. heavy control game. So we're going to jump back to table one. Now, uh, Lindsay did manage to take game game one. We might be able to get that uh, that score represented. Um, now, game two, once again, Lindsay does have the... It looks like when Lindsay had the turn one two-cost two cost upgrade. Uh, which is not nothing as well. The the heal of that the the, the heal ability of, on the ancient lightsaber is definitely nothing to scoff at. Yeah, it will have a big impact on this match. Uh, on the other hand, Damien did get his four speed upgrade, which, he, by his own words, is nuts. Simply, yeah. I believe he was saying that he would re he has more than once re rolled the special in order to get the focus. Yeah. Uh, yeah, four speed is lovely, but uh, seven damage is also lovely. Taking a look at Phasma right there. Whew. The plus three on the Ancient Saber with Kylo doing Whew. work. Whew. <laughs> that's, uh, that's unfortunate for Damo. Yeah. All right. So uh, we were chatting before about this, but going into a tiny bit more detail. Um, Damien's uh, Kylo Phasma list is a bit more similar to the Vader Raider decks of yes. old, running cards like four speed. Uh, he for his upgrades he just plays ancient lightsaber. Yep. And he does not play any other. Oh, he plays force illusion. Yep. Um, and plays a lot of events that do damage stuff like force strike. Sure. Um, so it's a little bit more streamlined. You now, know. what is interesting? Yep. Is uh, some unfortunate rolls there. Um, now, what is interesting is that uh, Demo did lose the first first game now because yep. we're as per the rules of the match play. Um, 
that basically means that he would have had choice. He's assumed to have won the role yes. for the second game. Now, he has still chosen Lindsay's battlefield as the battlefield he's playing is Rebel War Room. Yeah. Which benefits Lindsay probably more than him. Yes. Yep, absolutely. Um, also you, the you shields. You just need those shields now. Also the shields. But yeah, they're definitely you do not want to give yeah. the player that is playing two characters that both have a, a, a <laughs> damage side for a resource, the, the Rebel War Room yeah. and the shields. Yep. <laughs> All so right. that does mean that... Phasma has taken nine damage yeah, in that bit, first turn. Bit of a one-sided, oh. bit of a one-sided exchange. Here we go. Here's turn. the right baton oh, coming right. down at FN. Right baton. So now Lindsay feeling he's in a good spot. He doesn't need the heal that he can get from the ancient lightsaber. Is this going to roll on the right baton, right control baton? Now he does not have the ability to re-roll that. Well, he does. He can re-roll it, but, but he, not they, can, it. he can then yeah. no longer resolve it. Um, as the Basically, it's two things that happen simultaneously, and if you choose one, the other becomes... You miss it. You miss it. Uh, so, he's decided, it looks like he's deciding whether or not he wants to re-roll or whether or not he wants to actually resolve that resource. resource. isn't bad. Like you, depending on what's in his hand, he can just play another upgrade here. Yeah, um, taking the resource seems correct. Yeah. Without looking exactly at his hand, he's got a rocket launcher in hand. Yeah, I think taking the resource there is definitely correct. We can... I don't know if he's keen enough to override the rocket launcher, but... Uh, he does have events he can play. I think he's going to roll in. I don't think he needs to override nah. the rocket launcher. I'm oh, sorry, the, the right control button. I think simply that, that that weapon in itself on these characters is terrifying. It is, yeah. Um, and he's definitely on the offensive here. He's definitely he's definitely ahead. So what's I think what Damien's hoping for here is to get a really strong tack mastery roll in here. Um, I think what he wants to do is play that the tack. Right button loves resources, mate. Yeah. Wow. Uh, so I think what he wants to do is possibly he's got a choice here. He can either faint. Fainting against this tech doesn't feel great because it's not a guaranteed two damage. I think tack mastery. No, sorry. He's, okay. So well, if he gets off the force speed here, he's got two actions. So he can tack. Yeah, mastery, he can do some stick. activate phasma, discard to reroll, and can, then resolve everything. He look there. He it's it. not out of the question that he kills FN this turn. Yep. With what he has in play, uh, he just needs to play towards that. Now it looks like he's shown. Both two damage sides on Kylo, both for a resource. Yeah. And the focus on the force speed. Uh, he did also hit the two damage on the roll-in, which is nice. Uh, so, Damon's calculated, at least, well, not calculated, but it's quite quite clear. Um, Lindsay has no way to immediately kill Phasma. Um, oh, he missed. So Lindsay's been naming blue every time, yep. uh, and blue every time, and for the first time, Damien's revealed a red card. Yeah. So that's nice for Damien. Now Damien it considering never a break. it looks like Damien's whole hand is red. It is. He's considering. He's got lines. He only has one resource, so he doesn't want to use attack mastery because he wants to hold up the ability to resolve some of the damage mm. in play, and potentially he might have a mitigation spell um, event in his hand. He has a faint attack mastery. A Best defense? Yeah, that's and not going to be the strike. mitigation you want to see. No, not no. here. Not here. You do not want to put Phasma. Oh, well, he does have the combo of mitigation and yeah, illusion. Yeah, it, it, worked, like it worked quite well for him last yeah. time, but she still died on the same turn that he exactly. did it. So yeah. it might just be the double focus here. Um, I mean, that's still that's that's still not nothing. You can focus Phasma into... Uh, what's the most damage you can do here? So there's four damage. So if he was to resolve two of the... Two of the damage showing on Kylo, that puts FN to six, which is the magic number for Phasma. Uh, and then if he was to use the focus on the force speed to focus Phasma's die to the special, yeah. resolve that, that puts Kylo, that puts FN, that puts FN to death, that, that could, assuming Lindsay has no mitigation, that will kill, yeah. that will kill Kylo this turn. Yeah. Uh, so the three, two damage from F, from, from, Okay, so we'll walk through it. So, so there's the, a two for the pay, two, two, two damage for free. Yep, which puts him puts to uh, fender six. Yep, and then you deal one damage with the gun, which puts him to seven. Okay, uh, and then oh no, you're one short. So I reckon you spend the two focus, uh, you get the short. the two for free on Kylo. So yep. you got four with Kylo, and then you've got the three with. They're just going to go for the reroll. But yeah, the reroll's a thing. Hits the special. I might have kept. Well. He's kept the focus. So, okay, so I, I agree with Damien's play here. Okay. So he's kept the focus on the force speed um, because using a focus on one of Phasma's dice is taking away your ability to do damage with that die. Yep. Um, so Damien has recognized that the only way he's going to get ahead in this match is to do damage. Yep. It's a one in two with Phasma to do damage. Also, did Lindsay have enough damage in play to just kill Phasma? I think uh, not just then. He had two damage in play. 
We just saw a lightsaber throw come down to do another two to Phasma. Uh, and best defense force solution is happening now. Yes. To remove so, those two. Alright, so that removes all the damage that Lindsay had showing. So we're probably going to see a re-roll coming out of Lindsay. And then Damien has to hope that he misses, which he doesn't because he has the resource to resolve that die. Uh, so now I believe, yeah, Damien's just yeah. going to resolve the two damage walls. Take he what can. you can, yep. Uh, Phasma's going to drop. Man, it's been a slugfest. Mm. been an absolute slugfest. The thing is, at this point, Lindsay doesn't really mind if FN dies because he's no. got the big redeploy weapon out. He does. Um, that's the beauty of FN does. in this uh, yeah. in this matchup. So, honestly, Damien, in this matchup, I think Damien really just needs to be faster. Yep. And he hasn't really managed to do that. I think he's been possibly a little unlucky on some of the some of the rerolls. Yep. Um, Lindsay, I mean, look, the the, dot, the FN is the, is good because of the amount of damage it can do. The crush, not nothing here. Oh, oh too late! Wow, that's so. For those unfamiliar with the balance ambition uh, uh, that's thing, uh, it allows Lindsay to draw back up to his maximum hand size of five. Um, so it allows him to see more upgrades, which he can override onto FN to try and push through more damage on Damien this turn. So it looks like he's seen an ancient lightsaber. Um, and he's in another right baton, so he can potentially spike out another yeah, he's gonna go four big. damage. He's going to go absolutely huge here, and it's going to be amazing. Um, <laughs> he saw the enrage as well, so it means he could yep. Yep. get the resource for the pay side. If yeah, so he's going to well. start with yeah. the enrage. It gets him, gets him the resource for free. Um, and if he doesn't see the pay side, he's also got a lightsaber throw. Yeah, Damien... This is a massive turn. Damien is just a passenger at this point in time. Yeah. Uh, so Lindsay's going to start with the baton over the baton. That's pretty good. He's going to hit the resource side, which he will resolve because he can't. Oh, he's going to use the re-roll. Yeah, that seems fine. Yep, and hits the two. There's uh, an argument for taking the resource and then playing the ancient lightsaber, but the, well, the, the, just, the, the damage sides on the baton are yeah, better. Yeah, and the thing true. is, you can still, you can. St I mean, yeah, I, I understand what you're saying. Play the lightsaber as in addition to yep. the. Yep. Um, I don't know. I next think, turn you ready I think you're with so far. I think FN, you're far enough ahead here with if you're in Lindsay's spot. I think you're far enough ahead here. You don't need to do that. Yeah, you just push. I it. think you just yeah. push as much damage through on this turn because you know Damien has no cards in hand and yeah. no way to stop the damage. You might as well get as much in now as you can and yeah. set yourself up to potentially just end the game next turn. Fair enough. Uh, so gonna get a shield, deal two damage. He's debating whether or not he wants to overwrite here and go more. I he has another enrage. He, he drew double in rage. Oh, wow. Are you that's, serious? Yeah, wow. that's like... <laughs> so, okay, so if you're Lindsay here, I, th I, I personally would immediately enrage Kylo, play my Ancient yeah, Saber, so and, go, and, and at the end of this turn, then probably use Ancient Saber to heal two damage off FN, and then yeah. you can't lose. Yeah. I don't, believe there's, I don't believe there's a way you can lose that match at that point. I agree. So Saber rolls in, hits the, hey, hit, the, hits the one in three. Yep. What he's going for. Now he's going to use it. Yep. Heal two damage. Textbook. Uh, yeah. <laughs> the, 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 that, that was the line. And he's left with a nice late in hand for next turn. Yeah. That's, that's big. That's real big. So that's another huge thing about the FN uh, deck. I'm not sure if you saw that a lot yesterday, Marcus, but mm. Boundless can just push you into yep. such a huge advantage. Yeah. Um, yeah, Lindsay demonstrating the power of that. Yeah, that's, that's and sometimes it hits more than that. Like sometimes you hit oh, four upgrades and just yep, you know. Yeah, you can chain nuts. you can chain through four upgrades yep. all overriding each other. That was huge. So just just having a look at uh, having a bit of a read through the chat here. Sorry guys, I've sort of been uh, neglecting the Twitch chat. Um. Oh, yeah, someone just pointing out he could have used the enrage. Uh, he could have used the enrage whilst the two damage was in the pool to then roll in the oh, lightsaber the for the plus three. Yeah, sure. Um, which yes would have been given the fact that Damien had already claimed. I think was actually yep. the correct line. Yep. It all works out the same. It just yep. means that uh, you give yourself there was a chance. It yeah. gives yourself a one in two to hit damage on the yep. lightsaber as opposed to a one in three. Yeah, sure. Also, we're seeing here Lindsay has another boundless ambition. Yeah, so if he can, FN can stay alive for he, this turn. Yeah, he can do that again. I think look, there's a very good chance FN lives this turn. Um, 
immediately Lindsay just isolating one of Kylo's yeah. dice. No reason to mess around. Honestly, yeah. I could just sit here and watch Boundless Ambition all day. It's very satisfying. <laughs> it, is, it, is, it is quite impressive to just yeah. put a card down, put a card yeah. down, put a card down. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, it's exactly. We can get the uh, the what is it, the epic sax music playing in the background and <laughs> just make up a just make up a boundless ambition uh, yeah. uh, show reel <laughs> coming soon. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yeah, so, watch this space. YouTube, uh, <laughs> YouTube forward slash General Games Oz. All right. So the baton uh, was that a oh, no? Uh, there was a resource being claimed there. Yeah, resource. Um, uh, Lindsay's color being rolled in. Yeah, so he's going to uh, pick. Like he he'll pick blue again. Hit and yep. hit. Yep. Also presenting three damage. Yeah. Look, it's it, 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 the moment Phasma went down. It was a bit unf uh, with before Kyle before FN had died. It, uh, this game was a bit rough. Yeah. It is a de it, the Kylo Phasma list is a race. It is one hundred percent a yep. damage race, and the Kylo FN list is a race also. Yep. But it does have a little bit more long game. Yep. Uh, it can go bigger. And if you can go bigger and also have, you know, a really fast, punchy start, then that's exactly what you want in a deck. Like, we saw Lindsay do nine damage on turn one. Yeah. And just being... And still have this board state. Yeah. So, and just being pointed out in Twitch chat that it was actually impossible for Damien to do enough damage this turn. Uh, short of playing an upgrade, there was no way he could have yep. even... He actually had no potential to yep. kill FN this turn. Thanks to the yeah, heal. Thanks to the shield yeah, and the heal from the, um, from the ancient lightsaber. Uh, so as we said, we, th we, th we thought this one would be quick, and it's so far been uh, thirty, just on thirty-five minutes. And we've played two games. About to looks like we're coming to the end of the second game. Lindsay, uh, yeah, that's a plus two side, so that's three damage. Kylo's getting a bit minced here, it seems. Um, look, so okay, so if you're Damien, you win by. Seeing a Force Illusion? Yep. Step one. So Isn't step it? one, survive this turn. Yep. Uh, still well, got a Boundless Ambition. Or survive, su <laughs> survive this turn, which is very unlikely. Yeah. Uh, but survive this turn. Next turn, play, draw and play yep. a, uh, a Force Illusion. Yep. Kill FN somehow before FN is able to do any damage to you. Yep. And then hope that Kylo, your opposing, the opposing Kylo, misses more than once. Yep. <laughs> and never hits damage. I think. <laughs> That's my line. It's a, it's a solid plan, Marcus. <laughs> That's my line. I uh, definitely support that. <laughs> um, we're seeing Damien's Kylo go up to 10 damage from the crossguard saber's trigger and then special. Yeah, look, it's unlikely. Um, uh, also, we, no trigger, just the special. Yeah, I um, think, honestly, what I... Yeah, so da Damos is going to claim, put the ancient saber on top, and now he's a passenger. Once again, Lindsay has the second boundless ambition. Uh, so he's going to... And a resource this time, which means anything he draws is probably going to seal oh. the deal. That's an Electro Staff. He also has a Saber Throw in hand. So, basically, he needs to play anything over the top of the, uh, of the cross guard, and then Saber Throw ends the game. Yeah. Well, we'll start with the oh, cross well, guard. Oh, no, it doesn't. It doesn't, sorry. He, uh, he does have the shield. There's a shield, so yeah. It's three damage for the kill. Um, there is a resource. Cross guard. So, I think you claim the resource? Do you just discard to reroll? Oh, you've got... Yeah, you've still got his dice in the pool. Yeah, you definitely just yeah. discard to reroll. What am I talking about? Uh, and that's the special and a gun, yep. and that'll do it. Um, so, Lindsay, um, very efficiently dealing with uh, with Kylo Phasma. Yeah, so congratulations to Lindsay Henry yeah. for making his way into the round of four, uh, which we'll be bringing to you shortly. Yeah, um, look, um, that, was, that, was, that was a great aggro matchup, yep. great to watch. Uh, condolences to Damo. I, look, I, I've been, I, I'm biased. I'll admit it. That was a list of mine that I really wanted to. <laughs> I really would have loved to have seen yeah. to see him go further. Uh, but Lindsay demonstrating why FN Kylo is so well represented. Absolutely. Um, it is both fast, powerful, and when played correctly and when played well, it's a. It's, oh, it's a powerhouse. It's it's it's, yeah. it's, it's, it's a deck to fear. So, so we'll taking a look at yeah. our second pitch table. Uh, let's have a chat about these players, Marcus. Um, so I briefly touched yeah. on Braden's. Uh, Approach to playtesting before. Yep. Um, Braden's a player from Brisbane. Yes. He plays at the Magic Vault. Yep. Uh, they have a really big thriving community up there, which is really yeah, exciting to that's see. That's cool. Uh, they say they regularly get 20 to 30 on Monday nights. Um, yep. Braden's record this season has been four store championship wins. Wow. And an additional uh, two store champion top fours 
Oh, excuse okay. me. Uh, sorry, four store championship wins. Yep. One store championship top four. Okay. And two other top eights. So he's just, just dominating the local scene. Absolutely. Um, and I believe that was all with, you know, different decks as well. Oh, wow. Okay. Um, That's impressive. It is very impressive. Um, so it's exciting to see him here at our nationals. Uh, again, proving his skill as a player. Yeah, definitely. And uh, against him, we've got Will. Yeah, Will playing Cat Phasma. Yes. Um, Will is from Sydney. Okay. Uh, we recently saw a player from Parramatta. Will Carey just from uh, Good Games in Bondi Junction. Okay, sure. Uh, he plays with a team called Dest Friends, which is <laughs> very awesome. cute. I love it. I think, I, saw, cool I, think I saw their shirts here yep. yesterday, yeah. Um, so they've all come down. Um, uh, Will is actually a PC gamer. For the most okay. part, this is his first card game. Uh, sure. It's really gotten into it. Yeah, he awesome. has a store championship win yep. and three top fours. Yeah, cool. Um, so very successful players. It's good to see that the, uh, the the skill showing through. I guess like the yeah. r regardless of the fact that everyone's sort of playing similar decks, the the players that. Uh, the, the skill is showing through. Like the system not, works. Yeah, the yep. system works. Yeah. Um, so Will was chatting about his playtesting. Um, him and his team managed to assemble a full set of Destiny. Yep. Um, and they've been just playtesting everything. Playtesting everything. Last everything, night. everything against everything else. Yeah, yep. last night they constructed... Uh, like I said, the top eight decks are made available. Yep. Um, so last night they constructed Braden Walker's deck. Yep. And tested out the matchup. Yep. And tested out some of the other top eight matchups. Sure. Um, so it will be interesting to see how this so, game fares. Yeah, so, so all players... It looked, all players in the top eight, we were going to assume, were go, going in with very good information. Yes. I mean, they, they knew their opponents' decks. They knew the rest of the top eight's deck list. Um, we're going to assume if they didn't do any big team testing, they definitely would have done some some theory crafting. Yep. They would have had a bit of a look, seen what the... You know, at least gone in with a plan. Yep. Um, tried to try to be a little bit more proactive and maybe yeah. a little less reactive. Yep. Uh, now, so, Braden did manage to take game one. Game yes. two, not looking... Too bad for Will. Uh, still has a, looks like about half a deck left. Uh, has half a deck's good. Ha yep, good stuff. better than zero. Yep. Has some damage on on Ankar. Not as much as you'd like, but some. The uh, personal shield there, I imagine, doing quite a lot of work yeah. versus the all ranged yeah, damage. Yeah, all ranged. Deck. Um, um, cool to see that Will has gotten some upgrades out. Yes. Um, the the Cadbane deck gets stronger the Ooh. more upgrades you have. We're also missing the fact that Cad is his current car. No, he doesn't have the special though. So. On, bo on board, though, that looks like he's missing the resources for those die. E they so. both have a oh, they yeah. do both have a resource cost. Yeah, yeah of Cad course. Cadbane's expensive to make work, yeah. but when he does, which is real unfortunate, because if he had any, yeah, if he had any of those resources, that that phasma special now that would would do three, yes. which, um, is, which is the sweet spot. It's what you want. That's where you want your phasma out. You want to be. You want to get your one of your opponent's characters down to six on six damage as fast as possible. Yeah, that's correct. Because her dice gets real good. <laughs> um, we have just seen Will claim to resolve the three for a resource cost for free. Um, uh, so I was just asking Lando. Just asking in chat. Does the uh, does the personal shield ever not roll the three shields? Uh, I've I've never seen any other side. No, neither. I didn't Look, think it had other side. I mean, check if you want, if you want a great indication of that. Check out. Uh, <laughs> Check out the top eight match. It's on our YouTube channel. Uh, between I uh, said so top eight, the round eight match between Braden. Uh, it is Braden. I got it right. I, I didn't say I didn't get it wrong. I said Braden. Yeah, uh, I in, I commentated a match with him yesterday, and I kept getting every second time I'd say his name, I'd say Bra uh, Brendan instead of Braden. Oh no! <laughs> so he kicked, pulled me aside today and was like, "Get it right." <laughs> so um, well, apologies, Braden. Um, <laughs> but yeah, so Braden played against um, actually a uh, play we just saw, um, Damo. Okay. Um, and yeah, I think for about four or five turns running, it hit the three shields. Yep. Uh, that three shield, it either reads remove a die. Or it reads Anka you. <laughs> yep, yep. It's pretty good. It, yeah, it, uh, yeah. Uh, what is interesting is not all the thrawn thrawn lists were playing personal shield, which I think is a mistake. Yeah, uh, look, I always thought it was jank. I'm um, seeing it this weekend. So I've definitely changed my opinion on it. Um, looking at this game now, we are in a pretty even sort of state. So the vibro knuckles are down on thrawn, uh, which we were briefly chatting about before, just giving away for Braden to discard cards in the late game. Yep. Um, we are seeing the two discard sides showing. Uh, I'm not sure if Brayden has resources right now. He has a couple off to the side there uh, off camera, but I'm not sure if they're active. Um, he's looking at a bunch of focus sides, uh, which he can use for Anka or for setting up some resources yep. for bigger play. Uh, he's looking at two copies of Salvage Stand in play, uh, which aren't Imperial Inspection, but they're close if nah, you can just... They can, well, the, see, two Salvage Stands means on your opening roll and you can take all of your opponent's resources. Yes. 
Yeah. Uh, that's entirely right. Uh, he's also looking at a t detention center in play as well. So Twitch chat's just pointing out, so <laughs> the... Uh, it's quite interesting. They're just saying that you don't roll your, your three shields. You focus your three oh, shields. Of course. Priorities. Uh, and also, I think maybe just pointing out maybe a few minor play errors, I think, from Will there. But yeah, so <laughs> Braden is uh, doing, some, doing some deep mathematics. Yep. Right now, he's got his abacus out. The master uh, strategist. Yeah, it's, uh, oh, good. he's got his abacus. He's on his battleship with his, with his fist up, having yeah. a think. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep. <laughs> well, I, I like to think, I'd like to think of uh, Thrawn using an abacus. Oh, yeah, a little space abacus. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> a little, 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 little floaty thing on his what's wrist. What's the difference between a space abacus and a, just a regular well, abacus? A space abacus is an abacus in space. So when you try and, you know, move the things around... They can just float back and forth. Yeah, exactly. All oh, right, so, yeah. so it's got more of like a locking mechanism to stop it from sliding back, or...? No, you just you roll with it. Zero-G. Just let it float around. No, yeah, fair enough. A master trader just can calculate with any abacus. Yeah, true. Exactly. <laughs> it just has to look at it. <laughs> I'm jumping back into the game. <laughs> um, Brayden has taken a re-roll. Uh, yep. Hitting some unfortunate blanks. He's taking a think about how he's going to focus these. Um, he's showing the... <laughs> he has the focus too, like, like he needs to think. <laughs> no, I'm kidding, just kidding. Obviously, obviously Raiden has, um, has been very successful with this deck and has played very well. Uh, I don't... So I reckon you focus into the two and the plus two. You can get six, get three shields, and then discard three cards. It just, does Will have... So Will might only have two cards. Um, he's trying to see if there's anything else he can do with his turn. To take advantage of the fact that Will's claimed. Uh, not sure. I think all. I mean, he does have like free run. I think he's just going to go for the mass resource. Well, there's yeah, six yeah, resources. Six resources is pretty good. So he's able to take six resources. Oh, and and he's gonna, and yeah. uncard the last card. So he's going to take six resources. That might have been a little greedy. Maybe he could have used the discard two on the Vibro Knucklers and one of the, the plus two resource dies to do the Uncar ability. Yeah. And it, then claim... It depends the on how many cards are in Will's hand. I'm not actually sure. I think there's only one card. Oh, really? I believe there was only one card. So if you, if you use... You get... You end up overall lose, losing out on quite a few resources. But what it does mean is you're able to get the three shields mm. from the personal shield. So you resolve the three, three, three shields for a resource cost. And you're then able to, to also Uncar your opponent's yeah. hand. So, I think maybe I, it, being a bit I, we greedy. We did just see him counting out a lot. It's possible that he's trying to hit the lethal buyout. Yeah, maybe. Um, I'm not sure if he's got it in hand, but if he can get six plus an amount from Houndstooth well, plus an amount from discarding a certain card, he might just be able to take Will's deck. Um, we will... Yep, here we go. That's entirely what he's doing. Yeah, so uh, Chief just also pointing out that maybe he was just... Maybe... Um, uh, the other line would have been to just simply discard, but I think he was definitely going for the resources um, to do what he just did, and it worked. Uh, so he had the buyout in hand. He just wanted to finish the game basically there. So now Will stranded with one card in hand. Yes. Yeah, Will has one card. Uh, Braden can just roll in Houndstooth and hunk him. Yeah. So oh, yeah. No, sorry, that's already been done. He's, he's already raided his Houndstooth. Um, uh, we have calls in chat that buyout is broken. <laughs> Discuss. Discuss. Uh, buyout is very good. I'm pretty sure I would nerf roll on before I nerf. Yeah, buyout. I think so. Uh, look, uh, <laughs> roll on is a questionable card. Yeah. Um, I'm definitely expecting that FAQ. Yeah, definitely. Yep. I think I think they're gonna. Uh, we discussed this yesterday. Like rolling we're... twice is fine. Rolling yeah. three times. Oh, that's is what, that's what we discussed. Yeah. That's what we discussed yesterday. We feel <laughs> the, the two rolls. Maybe two. <laughs> like, because realistically, you want to be able to roll maybe two and a half times. Like that. That it, somewhere between the th the second and third roll. I reckon I the third roll, half your dice face just don't count. Uh, everything's rounded down by. Yeah, everything's rounded, rounded down. down. <laughs> <laughs> um, no, so, but in all honesty, uh, buyout. Look, buyout isn't. I don't believe buyout to be anything. I think it's an elegant design, and I think it's quite good. It's just well facilitated by the Thrawn card decks yeah. because of how many resources they can yeah. gather and how quickly. It's a part of it. Like yep. Thrawn card doesn't have damage, so you need another way to win, and buyout's that way to win. And you know, Thrawn card does still take an immense amount of skill to play. Uh, and speaking of immense amount of skill, we have Brayden taking out the win here. Just saw a handshake. Yep. Um, yeah, but yeah, just Bra Braden with the style points there, just uh, cleaning it up real nice. Oh, uh, he threw on the last card. 
Uh, what, so, what was the star point? Did, did, oh, I, I, I don't know. I, yeah. I, was, I was reading chat. <laughs> okay, sure. Uh, I was, so we've got, we've got a question in chat. Are people actually concerned about Roland? No. No, we're not. <laughs> what do you, I am. <laughs> <laughs> no, don't, don't listen to us. Uh, no, Roland we, we, is a perfectly fine card. We are... Uh, fine, fine. <laughs> it's a card. Yeah, it's a card. It exists. It is a card. In folders, um, sometimes. Congratulations to Braden uh, for making yep. his way into the round of four, yep. uh, as well as uh, Lindsay. Yeah, so um, Lindsay, Lindsay and Braden both going through. Uh, not sure about the outcomes on the other tables. Yeah, we'll uh, see if we can get some word from those. So, uh, both, still playing? so both matches are still, both other top eight matches still both in progress? Yep. Uh, so what we will do, we will try and grab uh, someone, not sure who yet, from the top eight, um, and get them maybe get a couple of interviews up on up on the stream uh, while we wait for the other matches to finish. Uh, and until then, um, hang around. Uh, we'll have a short break. We'll get some interviews up. Then we'll have another short break, and then we'll be back with the top four. Great. Thanks for watching, guys. Um, hopefully, the we have one one super fast match and one. One uh, well, well ground match, nice and fine. <laughs> yeah, that's right. And uh, we'll be back with some, some more destiny and some more talking soon. Thanks, See you guys. soon.